Okay, so we are live. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Facebook Live. Um, uh, in the studio. We are in my studio here in Nashville, Tennessee. And for the first time in 2021, we are going live with a trio. We are, well, two of us are masked, and uh, I will be when I'm not playing or speaking, um, which won't be until before or after the show. So <laughs> uh, we're going to play a bunch of original music for you. Uh, we've got the great Victor Krause over there on the bass and the amazing Jordan Pearlson over here on the drums. Uh, we've been doing some playing up here during uh, these times, and uh, we've actually recorded a record and done some video together. So we're going to uh, get right to it here. Uh, we thank you for tuning in. And uh, oh, to let you know also, uh, if you want to donate to the cause, you go to itastudiostreams.com and uh, um, do that. If you have some questions, you can punch them into... Uh, the Facebook uh, comments or chat or whatever it is, and uh, we'll try to get to a few of those uh, later on. But we want to play some music for you, so we can get right to it uh, with the tune of Victor's uh, entitled Overcast. I'll be playing this lovely bass flute. Um, this uh, used to actually belong to an incredible woodwinds player named Youssef Latif, and uh, I'm very honored to, uh, to be playing it. So we hope you enjoy this. This is Overcast. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Hope you guys are hearing everything okay out there. Everything's sounding good, Alex says. Thanks, Alex. Um, so that was uh, Vic's tune called Overcast. And uh, we're going to carry on now with a tune of mine. I'm going to be playing soprano on it. You'll see me going back and forth here to uh, change levels on the horns so that everything stays correct for you, uh, which I hope it will. This is a tune of mine called A Handful of Beans. And this was inspired by um, a great Wayne Shorter tune called Fee Fi Fo Fum which for some reason nobody seems to play. <laughs> and, uh, um, but I love it, and this is, this is uh, directly influenced by that. And I'm a big Wayne Shorter fan, and uh, if those of you out there who haven't heard of Wayne Shorter, by all means, go and check him out. He's got a, an incredible um, discography of music and an incredible, incredible career as one of the great composers of, of all time, in my opinion. An incredible saxophonist, um, played with Miles Davis, and. Uh, Elvin Jones and Lee Morgan and all sorts of Art Blakey. Art Blakey. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is entitled A Handful of Beans.
Okay, once again, Victor Krause on the bass over there, Jordan Pearlson on the drums, and uh, we're playing some music for you live here in 2021, and uh, doing everything we can to uh, stay creative and stay fairly sane, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, but we want to welcome you to uh, the live stream on Facebook tonight, and I think maybe my mom's watching. If she's watching, hey mom, I love you. And uh, um, got some other friends checking it out. So hey to everybody. And uh, again, if you have some questions for anybody in the trio, please go ahead and put them into the chat. And uh, Alex will send them to us uh, towards the end of the program. And we'll get to what we can. Uh, this next tune is called In Motion. And uh, it's kind of a, a, a dual meaning with this. Obviously, you know, we're in motion with music and uh, uh, propulsion and, and, and whatnot. Um, but I wrote this after hearing the, the late, great drummer Paul Motion uh, at the Village Vanguard a number of years ago. And a uh, buddy of mine, John Rogers, uh, who works there and does a lot of photography, um, knows all the cats up there and, and used to hang with Paul quite a lot. And so we had an opportunity that one night to, to sit at the back of the Village Vanguard after, after Paul's set, <coughs> which was really quite incredible. He's an, he was an amazing drummer. And just hang for a while, you know. And... Um, kind of the way that, that he heard music and, and the fluidity that he played with uh, was very inspiring to me. So uh, I wrote this tune. This goes out to the great Paul Motion. In Motion.
Okay. You guys are okay. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> Okay, I gotta change some levels here. All right, so that was uh, In Motion. Going out to the late, great Paul Motion. This is, um, this is another Victor Krauss tune, right? We're at Here to Be Me? Yeah. Okay, <coughs> so this tune, um, uh, it's kind of a barn burner, so if you feel like getting up and dancing, this is probably the one to do it to, I guess. Or and uh, or let a barn on fire, right? And uh, yeah, this is really fun to play. This is um, called "Here to Be Me," and apparently the story goes that it's it's from uh, a real world episode. Season two. Of Season two of the Real World. Yeah, where Pops uh, just is getting thrown out of the house. Well, Pops getting thrown out of the house. Okay. He says, I'm here to be me, and I like me, and I'm not going to change. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, so here to be me by Victor Krauss uh, on the bass. And uh, once again, we thank you for, for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the music. We're enjoying playing for you.
All right, that was Here to Be Me by Victor Krause over there in the bass. Once again, Jordan Perlson over here on the drums. Do we have any questions that have come in yet, Jordan? Uh, not that I've that been related to. Not that have been, re been related to you. Okay, so Alex, if you have some questions, um, maybe let us know. we got a few more tunes for you. And uh, um, I wonder if, you know, maybe just doing an audible, you guys. What if we did... Um, um, on the precipice of change. <laughs> Throwing these guys an audible here. We'll see. We'll see if we can do it. <laughs> if not, no worries. But uh, <coughs> anyhow, so we're you know we're we're playing some live music for you in 2021 here, and uh, um, next week I think I'm going to have. Um, some friends of mine, um, some Indian musicians on with me, uh, a couple of the guys that played on, on the Dream Shanti recording, Subrata and, in, and Indraji. I'm hoping that uh, they're going to be joining me next week. Uh, and then I'm going to have um, Rodrigo Simas coming on uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, he and I are going to compare, compare photos, and he's going to uh, bring 20 of his favorite DMB photos. And I'm going to bring 20 of mine. We're going to talk about them and uh, talk about where they were taken, um, our love of photography also. And, and so uh, we're going to have Carlos Malta on coming up um, in a few weeks as well. We're going to talk about Brazilian music. And he's going to play some fife and probably some bass flute and other craziness for you. So uh, there's a lot of, lot of cool stuff coming up. I'll, I'll be announcing it as we go along. So uh, this tune uh, is called uh, On the Precipice of Change. And uh, we've been we've been doing this some, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Here we go.
constant. Okay, so that was on the precipice of change. And we're going to continue now with a, a, another tune of mine. Uh, this one's called Constance. And uh, this one's dedicated to my mom, Connie. It's spelled different, but it sounds the same. Pretty clever, right? <laughs> uh, so we hope you like it. This one's entitled Constance.
seems. All right, so that was, uh, it was called Constance, and uh, it was dedicated to my mom, Connie. And I uh, love you, Mom, if you're checking it out. If you're not checking it out, where are you? <laughs> uh, two questions. Two questions. We have two questions. Favorite city to visit? Mm. And how does Jeff play so easy sitting down? Oh, those are good questions. Uh, favorite city to visit? You guys have a favorite city to visit? I do. You have one? You go first. I'll think. All right. Um, my favorite city to visit is New Orleans. I think it's my favorite city on the planet, actually. And uh, every time I go there, I, I just feel so welcomed. Um, everybody is accepted for who they are and for the kind of music they play and how they dress and how they act. And I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some silly people down there. <laughs> but uh, I love New Orleans. I think it's an incredible city. I've spent a bunch of time down there. The music is without peer, in, in, in my opinion. And uh, it's alive. You know, if you want to go somewhere where music feels alive, um, it's New Orleans. It's, uh, it's an incredible place. And uh, so that's my choice. What you got? You want this? Uh, sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jordan Pearlson. Uh, if we're discounting cities that are like, another home so I'm like I'm from Philadelphia and I spent a lot of time in New York and I love to visit those cities but if we're going to take those out of the equation maybe Seattle Seattle's also always super cool to visit and always is kind of like surprisingly fun and uplifting despite the weather I don't know that comes to mind it's not a very good answer or thought thoughtful answer but that's what comes to mind it's an okay answer thanks uh, <laughs> you want to yell Victor and I can just I, I can hand it over to him okay. oh. You know, you get what you pay for in this thing, and uh, since it's free, you know, we're doing everything. Here you go, Vic. I think it's uh, for domestic. It's uh, uh, Burlington, Vermont, Ooh. and then uh, uh, worldwide, it's Glasgow, Scotland. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no particular reason other than they feel feels feels good. For good reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, the only time I was in Glasgow, I was sick as a dog, man. I was out with the Flectones. And I ended up having, like, really bad strep throat on the road. And, man, I was miserable. And uh, But it was a beautiful city. I remember we went out a little bit and, uh, and, and saw some of it. It was a beautiful, beautiful. I'd love to go back when I'm feeling good. Uh, and that trip, I was definitely not feeling good. Um, uh, the other question was how d what is it how do I play so groovy while I'm sitting down? It's a gift. <laughs> it's a gift. Um, so we're gonna carry on. We have a couple more tunes for you. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're good. We may go five over. Um, is it okay with you guys? If we go five over, or should we finish on this? Okay. Well, let's let's see how we feel after this one. Maybe get to your last tune on the bass clarinet and the terragata, which would be kind of fun. So uh, we're going to do this tune called Say It Seems, and uh, this one's in uh, 11. It's a bar of six and a bar of five, for those of you counting along. Um, careful if you're dancing, you might pull something.
Okay, say it seems, say it seems. We're going to uh, say goodnight after this next tune. Uh, we really appreciate you guys coming out and, and checking out the music. Once again, the great Victor Krauss on bass. The amazing Jordan Pearlson on the drums over here. Yours truly, Jeff Coffin. Uh, thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, if you want to donate to the cause, you can go to itastudiostreams.com, itastudiostreams.com, and uh, you can use PayPal. And uh, all the money is collected tonight get split between the cats and uh, um, so we hope you'll check that out um, this tune I'm gonna play some bass clarinet and uh, this crazy instrument here this is a Hungarian pterodactyl, and uh, someone called it a pterodactyl the other day and it's close uh, but it's a, it's a Hungarian instrument it's made of wood kind of a cross between a soprano sax and, uh, and a clarinet made by an incredible um, Hungarian pterodactyl maker and uh, Josef Toth, and uh, I bought this from the great Charles Lloyd, and I'm very uh, honored to uh, have this instrument as well, sitting on the same stand as my bass flute from Youssef Latif. Um, so that's a, that's a stand of honor right there to me. Uh, so this is entitled Side Street, and uh, I don't remember, is that what we're doing? Split window. Oh, split window. Yeah. God, because I was like, I don't remember how this one goes at all. <laughs> split window. <laughs> That would have been funny, me trying to play that tune. Um, split window. There it is. Oh, I remember this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go, split window. And thank you very much. We're going to say goodbye after this. Well, we're going to say goodbye now for after this. And uh, But thanks for checking it out. Thanks, Alex, for helping us out, buddy. And uh, again, Victor Krauss, Jordan Pearls, and Jeff Coffin, uh, we thank you very much for uh, listening to the music. We hope you enjoyed it. Yo, Marcus, uh, you were asking about the symbol. It's what? 22-inch It's, 20, it's a 22-inch tradition flat ride. From Minel. From Minel, yeah. You are asking about uh, his symbol. And it uh, sounds pretty damn good, doesn't it? I'm with you.
Okay, that's all, folks. Thank you very, very much. Jordan Pearlson, Jeff Koff, and Victor Krause. That last tune was Split Window by Victor. We appreciate you checking it out. Again, if you want to donate to the cause, go to www.ita, into the air, itastudiostreams.com. And uh, we appreciate you listening. Hope you had a good time. See you next week. Peace. Thanks, fellas.